Hi guys, this is Crivley again with another pen review and today I have something really, really interesting for you. The pen that we're going to look at today is the Design 07 or as it's called in proper German, the Design 07 fountain pen made by Otto Hood Germany 1920. The Design 07 by Otto Hood is Otto Hood's flagship pen model. Uh, let me give you a little bit of background on Otto Hood because like I think this is a brand that is fairly underrepresented in the fountain pen community. I think I've not even ever seen a pen review of the Design 07 or 07 on YouTube. So this is probably the first and so far only pen review that you'll find on YouTube. Guys, Otto Hood is a uh, company, as you can see here, founded in 1920. They're actually located in southern Germany in a small city called Königsbachstein, which has only around 10,000 inhabitants. It's very close to the Black Forest region, very close to a city called Pforzheim. This whole Black Forest region there in southern Germany is very well known for artisanship and craftsmanship. They're very well known for especially silver jewelry and all that kind of stuff. And Otto Hood sort of positions it, positions itself within that proud context. And uh, I think that they also do pride themselves a little bit with making, you know, uh, Bauhaus-ish inspired pen designs. Guys, that should suffice with a little bit of background. I want to thank Otto Hood because uh, they actually sent me that pen for review as said their flagship model. Uh, it came and I, I'm not sure you probably, I'm not sure if you're going to get the pen that way when you buy it in a pen store. But um, I thought I'll show you the overall packaging because I think it'll probably give you a little bit of an expression of how the brand carries itself. So it, it's pretty minimalist but looks pretty elegant. Uh, got that in this pouch here. Pretty, pretty large box that the pen comes in. Maybe something that you would sort of expect for a flagship model presentation wise. And uh, then it had like a little bit of a booklet in here. I'm just going to flick through that right here real quick. They also make inks um, or they also have inks. I don't know if they make them themselves. Um, you know, with their different pen models and stuff that they make. You can check that out for yourself on autohood.com. I'm not going to go through that now in depth. I want to show you the product. Let's look at the packaging first, which is already kind of spectacular in itself, uh, as it should be for a flagship model. So there you have it, a black outer sleeve or cardboard packaging saying Otto Hood. That's their typeface logo. Then they have their uh, iconography logo, which is sort of like a looks like, you know, a fountain pen nib cut in half and 07 for the pen model. They name their pen models design 010203 all the way up to 07. That's sort of like their range. Uh, and this is the 07, the flagship model. Slide out the box. I got a little bit of a card in German saying "Viel Freude mit Ihrem neuen Füllhalter von Otto Hood," which basically says "Have fun with your new writing instrument." Um, and out comes this box here, which looks a little bit like this. Very interesting. I think it's also sort of a cardboard, or maybe it's uh, sort of like a plastic. I'm not 100% sure. Feels like coated cardboard. Uh, same logo and, and, and design language, just inverted color-wise. And then super cool open, opening mechanism. You pull that thing out right here and it opens like this, which is kind of nice. You obviously, for a pen in the, and price is 500 euro, discussed that at the end of the video, uh, what you would expect in that price range, a converter, Otto Hood branded, fairly certain this is a Schmidt converter. Pen was covered by this plastic pouch. You get a little booklet right here, Otto Hood. Uh, it tells you a little bit about, uh, you know, who Otto Hood was and congratulations for your writing instruments and a bit of the background of the company, stuff that I was already telling you, a little bit something about Design 07, stuff that I will already be, uh, still be telling you, uh, and then a, a uh, unique uh, pen identification number. And then I said I got that from Otto Hood, the stamp of the person that will otherwise or shop will sell you that. You also get a six 
cartridges, same kind of like uh, packaging style, super well thought through concept, I think packaging concept. You get a polishing cloth, which you may or may not need for that pen because it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. And then you also get like a very lovely uh, leather pouch saying Otto Hood uh, made in Germany. So guys, overall, I would say that this is a pretty fantastic overall package. Um, let's look at the pen. Here it is, the Otto Hood Design 07. I mean, you know, it's like some kind of a hybrid between a flat top pen on that end and a cigar shaped fountain pen on that end which i already find a pretty interesting design decision uh, it's a pretty massive pen uh, it weighs i think around 65 grams or so and just to describe the attributes of that pen for you is already kind of a mouthful so i took some notes on that but let me go through it so the pen does have a massive brass body. That brass body is platinum plated. It is then pinstripe guilloshed, and we're going to look at that up close in a second. It is then double coated with a black translucent lacquer. lacquer. After those two layers of black translucent lacquer, it got another seven layers of a clear coat lacquer, and is then that subsequently varnished and hand polished that was a mouthful so quite a bit of work that went into this flagship model let's look at it what we got right here is what they call uh, i think they call it the black transparent model there's also a sterling silver model which is then really silverish this one here is like sort of like i don't know what you want to call it is it anthracite is it like gray is it smoky black something like that it's silverish but it has some kind of a smoky black anthracite grayish uh, very interesting interesting color to it top to bottom on the top of the cap we find the finial with this sort of like uh, sliced in the middle uh, fountain pen nib auto hood logo uh, with a ring up here we then have a pretty bulky, pretty massive cap with this like uh, black translucent lacquer blah blah treatment that I just went through. We have that pinstripe guilloche that always does fade out ever so slightly on both sides. We have a very, very minimalist clip, very beautifully designed. It's actually spring loaded, operates very nice, slides into a shirt pocket without any problem, really good. The only thing is that the pen, when it sits in a shirt pocket, will weigh your shirt pocket down a little bit because at 65 grams, it's not a lightweight. You then have a center cap band here saying Otto Hood, Germany, and then the individual numbering of this pen here, 07, and the rest you can read for yourself. Then you find a barrel that is like quite a bit thinner than this like quite bulky cap that does stand out a little bit design-wise. Find the same pinstripe guilloshing uh, with the sort of like fading in and out. And then a pretty interesting end design. It's sort of like, you know, it's not flat top, but it's not cigar. It's something in between and it then has a silver end cap or something like that. The interesting thing about this color, which feels very, very nice in the hand, it feels very like very soft and very sort of like, I don't know, silky is the wrong word because obviously this is a metal, but that's like very, very warm and nice to the touch, really beautiful. And depending on how you angle the pen into the light, it's a little bit more subdued or it's a bit more black or it becomes a little bit more silver, bronze, blackish, shiny. So very, 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 very interesting to play with that. You know, you see the kind of light play that you can sort of exhibit with that pen. So very, very nice, very interesting color. Goes from, you know, get some bronze, goldish accents, like really, 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 really beautiful. If uh, that's the kind of thing uh, that you like. Very modern design, I would say. It does have a screw on cap. Let's see how many turns we need to uncap this beauty here. Uh, so this is, oh, this is not even one turn. 
This is about three quarters of a turn, which is fantastic because it does make it for a very quick note taker. Um, it has a very, very satisfying closing mechanism. Snaps in place very, very nicely. So that's really nice. So as said, very quick uncapping makes it for a good note taker. You see like an inner cap that prevents the nib from drying out. You then have a section right here, which is a little bit uh, an hourglass shaped section. It is obviously a metal section, um, which does make it, to be honest, slightly slippery for me personally, at least. I have to say that it's not as bad as the section of a Lamy Studio, for instance, that chrome section that that studio has, which I find a lot more slippery. And obviously the hourglass shape right here does also help to give you some grip. So once you slide down until that point here, you will probably not slide further down, but it may be that you slide down onto that point. But well, I mean, that's what it is. If you do tend to have problems with metal sections, you may want to consider if this is the pen for you. But uh, other than that, um, it's not as bad as other chrome sections are. We then do have a very, very nice large number eight size nib right here. I've been told by Otto Hood that this nib is made, uh, I can't remember, it was either, uh, no, they said that they have nibs made for them after their specifications by both Jovo and Bock. Looking at the feed, I would assume that that one here is a Jovo make, but I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's either of the two. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's like a number six, um, 18 karat uh, duo tone or bicolor color nib. Very, very beautiful nib design right here with some stripe uh, patterns on there and some sort of like uh, gold uh, non-striped uh, areas on here saying here EF for extra fine you see the breather hold on hole on there 18 carat 750 for the gold content and then the Otto Hood logo right here and the feet down there the pen does open like this it's a cartridge converter filler and I have a cartridge in there that came with the pen but I've shown you that you also get a converter with the pen you can post the pen, but posting the pen does make it pretty unwieldy, very, very long and also very heavy because you can see this cap here is, is really, really bulky. Guys, uh, as most of you know uh, that follow my channel a little bit more frequently, I don't have the smallest hands on the planet, so that's what the pen does look in hand. I don't even need to post that pen by no means. It does sit in my hand very, very very comfortably. It's a very well balanced pen. It's a great size and I do a size comparison in a second. It's sort of the ballpark size of like a Pelican M800 or a Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. That's what I would say. Overall really nice body to nib proportions. Very well designed pen. Very well executed pen. I mean the uh, the machining, the manufacturing is really stellar. So, you know, Pforzheim jewelry or silver jewelry heritage, you can sort of sense that in this pen, very tight tolerances, um, there's really nothing to complain about when it comes to that. Let's do a quick size comparison right here. Let's pull out my standard size reference pen First of all, this is the Lamy Safari, and I would say capped. It's very safe to say that this is basically exactly the same length. Let's uncap them. That's the picture we get. The Lamy Safari is about, yeah, what, three, four millimeters longer. Look at the sections. That's what it looks like. Um, you know, pretty much now depends on, since this is a very strong hourglass shape, where you tend to hold your pen. Um, but you know, you see the picture for yourself, see the nib, pretty massive. And let's get in the other two pens that I've just mentioned. This is what it looks like in comparison to the M805, the Stresemann. Pretty much exactly the same size, you know, pretty much exactly, you know, same diameter, at least when it comes to the body, the cap here on the 
on the design 07 is uh, pretty bulky. Let's uncap those Pidu pens. That's what it looks like. The Pelican M800 5 is like maybe two millimeters longer. Let's look at the sections and nibs in comparison. That's the picture that you would get. Do you hold the pen up here? Then you're sort of in the ballpark of the M805. Do you hold the pen down here? Then it's probably more like the M600. Nib comparisons, fairly similar. Cap the pen again. And last but not least, let's compare it to a Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. The Mont Blanc Meisterstück may be three millimeters or so four millimeters longer when capped. Let's uncap them. That's what it looks like. Put it more in the center. Excuse me the lengthy review and like the many size comparisons, but I thought since the design 07 is a pen that is very rarely reviewed on YouTube and maybe this video is pretty much the only source that you'll find and it's a fairly expensive pen, I thought it's totally justified to give it a few minutes more. And hey, guys, this is pretty much exactly the same than a Moblo Meisterstück. 146. Section comparison, yeah, pretty much same ballpark nib size comparison. That's what it looks like. Look at this beautiful nib. I really like it. This is a fantastic nib design and a nib design that we see way too rarely on Instagram. Uh, we see a lot of Pelican and Mont Blanc and Sailor there. We don't see a lot of uh, Otto Hood there. Maybe a bit more in the future. Writing sample. Let's now hope that the pen did not dry up with like the tons of capping and uncapping that I have performed right here. Let's see. Ah, did dry up a little bit, but came up fairly quickly. This is a very, very true to the size, extra fine nib. It very, it definitely is an extra fine writer. Uh, let's write a few lines. Otto Hood Design 07. Extra fine nib in 18 karat. Gold. Uh, guys, this is a very, very nice nib. Um, yeah, it's a Jovo or Bock. I think it's a Jovo gold nib. Very nice writing experience. It's a very, very, very smooth writer with a wee bit of feedback. I think you can also hear that. Very nice writing experience. Very true to the size. Extra fine line with wetness. This is Rhodia paper, as you have seen. Sort of like a, a medium wet to slightly wetter pen. Um, as said, this is an extra fine nib, so it's not gonna lay down a ton of ink. And uh, when it comes to line variation, there isn't a lot that you're gonna get out of there. Uh, it's pretty, it's it's for a gold nib, it's pretty much of a, it's pretty much a nail. Um, and I wouldn't be comfortable to like, sort of like push this nib all that far. Let me zoom back out again. But overall, I think this is like a very, very, very beautiful writing experience and a fantastic uh, writing instrument. And there we have it. That was that with the review of the Design 07. Last but not least, as I promised you, we have to talk price. As said, 500 euro. Yeah, that's sort of in the range of a Pelican M1000. It's uh, a little bit less expensive than a uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. Of course, a lot less expensive than a 149. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than a Sailor uh, 1911 Large, but it's again a bit less expensive than a Pro Gear Rialo or something like that. So, you know, putting it in the grand scheme of things, I would say that the price is okay. It's uh, definitely for what you got with, uh, you know, 
uh, double and uh, whatnot, seven times lacquer and the hand polishing and the 18 karat gold nib and this being like a, a very greatly um, machined and manufactured pen that is the flagship line of Otto Hood, which is a smaller company sitting in southern Germany taking great care of their products. I would say it's an expensive pen, but the price is definitely a price that is okay. Guys, as I said, that was that with that review. Um, I hope that this review was useful to you. Look into the pen if you find it interesting. Don't if you don't find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao.